outside a hot July afternoon. But hidden away in the depths of the Cooper Road Mini Dungeon, let's do a progress report on our aluminum cylinder head. This is the one for our Sprite Race engine. Let me see if I can mingle mangle with these lights here. Over here, let's see if the phone will adjust to the uh, available lighting. Uh, probably not very well. Uh, there we go. Standard port, as cast. Now you can just kind of peek up and see the valve seat area, and you can see a big sharp ridge of aluminum there. The casting is just rough. Uh, it's machined from the top end, but from the underside, the side that the air comes from, it's got a lot of roughness and just general production casting flash. You can see there the ribs, you know, sort of the ribbing between the two ports. And if we sneak over to this side, this is the exhaust port, the center exhaust port. I've done ex fairly extensive work here on the left one. The right side is pretty stock. You can see that sharp jagged edge in the aluminum there where the flash just hangs out, impeding the flow. Now, well, this one is the exhaust, but still, rough edges cause a tumbling of the air and uh, a reduction in the path of least resistance. Let's take a look at the intake side here. Whoops! Well, our jig isn't the best. Actually, not a bad way to have a look at the intake valves area. We can see that uh, cleaned it up from inside and outside. The idea being to create a nice smooth path by sculpting away the uh, areas where the aluminum is clumsy, the casting is rough, uh, parts of it jut out into the airflow. For a high revving arp engine like this one, uh, it becomes a bit more critical to have a nice smooth path through so you don't create stumbles in your power band. It's a nice look to go down the throat this way. I had this balanced on my tray. Yeah, we might have enough light to have a look. You can see this side here. Not done yet. I keep having to switch tools, so I want to catch up to the uh, level of these here on the ones that I haven't done yet, so I don't have to keep switching back and forth. We'll do another clip later on and show the finished product, hopefully, before it goes back onto the engine.